Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com. Hey there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. We're just poking around here today looking for some uh, blue crabs. I actually just saw a couple here, so as soon as I'm done with this video shoot, gonna see if I can go scoop me up a couple of blue claws for a little dinner this week. But anyway, in the meantime, I'm gonna jump right into the reports where Bonita have been slowly spreading out west along South County, Rhode Island this week with anglers picking them up here and there by boat and from shore. I spoke to Andrew up at Fishing Factory 3 over the weekend when I was covering the Connecticut reports. He said that he worked off the beaches of Rhode Island last week with his buddy Justin, hitting loads of isolated schools of bait along South County, picking off some small bass, even a couple of bluefish along the way, before finally finding some bones. He noted that most of the bait schools he encountered didn't really seem to have anything feeding on them, and he just kept stopping, casting, working a school, and moving on until he finally succeeded and found some fish. Let's see then on Tuesday morning I heard from I heard from a good friend Gil Bell. He was fishing Weekapog Surf just after sunrise in the morning when he hooked into his first bonita of the season. I asked Gil what he was throwing. He just described it as a small metal ice fishing lure. So hey, whatever works, works. But it's in any, any event, it's about the same size as those juvenile anchovies and the schools of peanut bunker that are loaded up in, off of South County. Uh, also heard some rumors of some false albacore caught from around the west wall, but I'm still waiting for the first photographic proof of that. And if you happen to have it, remember, I'm I'm always looking for images to use both in my weekly report videos as well as in print at thefisherman.com. So email them over to me at tlipinski at thefisherman.com. Let's see, uh, next up, out around Block Island, there's a mix of striped bass and fluke to be had, as well as some solid action on black sea bass on the deeper structure spot. Uh, striper fishing out there has been good pretty much everywhere, but unfortunately, as is so often the case, a lot of captains still feed the need to slide out past the three mile line and fish illegally for stripers in, stri in uh, federal waters. With that said, those who are staying inside the line have been finding bass in excess of 50 pounds. So honestly, I don't know why they got to feel the need to head out there. But in any event, a um, friend of mine, Captain Joe Diorio, was fishing uh, with his buddy Justin on Friday inside the line. And they got into a huge school of mega stripe bass. Uh, once all was said and done, Joe boated three bass over 50 pounds himself with the biggest going in at just over 70 pounds. I'll complete details on this epic day of fishing. Be sure to check out the news story posted at thefisherman.com. And last up, off offshore fishing, excuse me, has been producing some mixed results. Some boats reporting doing really well in yellowfin, big eye, uh, white and blue marlin, and shark, a bunch of different varieties of shark. While other boats fishing almost in the same areas at times uh, are you know, reporting much different success. One bite, however, that did seem to be quite good the last few days from a bunch of boats that I talked to has been on Mahi. Uh, Captain Wade, for example, a booked off charters took a ride out to the shipping lanes late last week. He boated 18 Mahi to an impressive 28 pounds. Now remember that Mahi are one of the eight eligible species in this year's Dream Boat Challenge, and they can get you one step closer to taking home that brand new Steiger Craft boat. All right, remember, if I didn't get to your species or your location of choice this week, you can always check out the complete fishing reports covering Maine through the Mid-Atlantic and beyond at thefisherman.com. And as always, I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend. Hey anglers, the Fisherman Surf and Inshore Fishing Show is Wednesday, September 12th at the Huntington Hilton. See seminars by the region's best surf and inshore experts. First 500 through the doors receive a goodie bag worth more than the price of admission. Check out the free workshops and see more than 75 vendors with the latest fishing gear. Don't miss this opportunity to get ready for the fall run. Visit thefisherman.com for more information.